Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Focusing in on the uh, narcissist manipulation tactics of uh, projection. Uh, projection is a defense mechanism that is engaged in by both the covert and overt narcissist as a way of basically they're projecting their insecurities and um, their weaknesses onto you. So this is also called blame shifting. Um, but however, projection means when they're when they get to be insulting, um, arising a lot of uh, conflicts, uh, trying to arise a lot of fights, confrontation, uh, belittlement, the sort of you know creating a lot of chaos. When they come at you with insults, criticism, things of that nature, there there can tend to be a lot of projection. So projection means they're pointing the finger at you and saying that you are basically, they're basically false, falsely accusing you of being a certain way. And they put you in a corner so that you have to try to basically um, try to explain and justify your way out of it, defending yourself. So you're trying to come at it with a, with a like energy. But realize the um, narcissist will unconsciously engage in projection to protect themselves as a way um, of dealing with their own insecurities and their own weaknesses. For example, um, they might insult you about your clothing. Um, and then, you know, you know, what are you doing here? That, 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 is this, this, that, you know, is this new? Why are you wearing this? Um, you know, you should be more conservative. You should be more this. So this, you know, sort of confrontation or pointing the finger at you, which is usually done in extremely irrational manner and in with an emotional approach that is way, you know, way beyond what would be a natural sort of nice discussion. Like, you know, so they're doing it in a very sort of superior, haughty, condemning sort of way where, you know, you're just this terrible, flawed person for having or doing or possessing or, you know, belonging or all, all these different things. So this is actually a sense of projection. And so they'll perpetuate it in a number of different ways. So it can be, you know, based on your belongings. It can be based on your interests. It can be based on um, your diet. It can be based on your exercise. Wherever they want to come at you, you know, it's, it, it's a way to keep you down. It's a control tactic. So if they can keep you doubting yourself, if they can keep you feeling low self-esteem, if they can keep you judging yourself and caught in that perpetual pain, you're constantly caught up in that pain, but then you're constantly thinking about them. So it's part of that trauma bond where they, they don't permit you to have that sort of self-strength, that self-identity, that self-awareness that identification with your own values, um, your own needs, your own interests. They don't allow those to be fostered and grow um, because that would mean that attention would be off of them, that you'd be living your own life and that you would no longer be a source of supply to them. So for them to um, project is a way to constantly ensure that you'll be there for them as an outlet and for them to be able to deal with their own insecurities by insulting you, by berating you, by, um, by uh, making you feel insecure, by doubting you, by causing fights, by causing confrontation. So they're able to, um, rather than deal with this within themselves, they're able to project it onto something or somebody outside of them and have you deal with actually all the hurt feelings um, and the judgments that they, and then that void, that emptiness that they feel inside, they then cause you to feel this inside of you. So when you really start to review and look at sort of the uh, projections that the narcissist has uh, thrust onto you, um, in terms of insults, in terms of judgment, in terms of their hostility, in terms of their combativeness and their treatment, um, really look at what it was doing for them because there is something for them to gain not only as you supply which is it's a very sick sort of um, 
uh, dynamic where you know they basically get aroused or they are able to maintain their position by by hurting you so it's it's a, a very sort of um, abusive cycle so if they're able to see you in pain if they're able to see that they um, have hit you or gotten you um, if they're able to see that you're um, upset angry feeling insecure they take quite joy in prevailing over you so even if it's a family member I mean if they can make you feel insulted and make you feel insecure and make you feel self-doubt and really crippled you know they're they actually feel quite victorious over that because they feel like they're in the right they're you're essentially truly their kicking bag you're their punching bag you are where they are dumping all their negativity so you know rather than being a receptacle for all that which is essentially what they're what they're seeking when they are projecting they're they're looking for a constant receptacle uh, for someone to take on all that um, sort of negativity and toxicity so they can just unleash it and it's more than just you know giving helpful advice there it's a path it's a pathology it's extremely destructive I mean, it's extremely hurtful to people, and especially when they're not aware of it taking place. It can be, um, it, it can really uh, corrode and corrupt one's uh, self-esteem and really almost tries, they seek to ruin someone's life. So um, it's a really sort of bizarre, sick behavior. But um, once you're untangled from that and you're able to see what they're doing, you're able to see that it's a way for them to, it's a self-serving defense mechanism um, for them to uh, place all this burden onto you. So you need to really get, you know, step, step away from it and just stop being that sort of supply and realize that they're completely in the wrong, that their projection is, you know, all their insults, there's nothing wrong with you. There's, you're, you're not worthy of all the insults that they had hurled against you this is just their way to project so it's like them projecting a, 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 a movie onto a wall if you will so rather than seeing you for who you are and acknowledging you and mirroring you and su supporting you and um uh you know um giving you um validation and giving you that awareness and good job and support and really acknowledging you and letting you be the person that they, you are, they're looking at you essentially like a blank canvas and they're projecting their insecurities onto you like a movie. So they're not, they're, they're just playing their own movie off of you. They're not seeing you. And this is what is so quite befuddling and this is what's so confusing is you, and you really feel this when you're around them that they're not able to really see you for the person that you are. They're not able to look into your eyes. They're not able to hear you. They're not able to see you. They're not able to understand you. It's because this projection is so deep um, that they they really can't. They really don't know you. Um, they really can't acknowledge you. They they don't. They can't appreciate you. They can't embrace you for who you are. So they, it's like they don't. They're not able to hit the target and 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 get you at all I mean they're just not capable but furthermore are they not only not capable um, they are projecting all their hostility all their toxicity all their garbage onto you so you unbeknownst to you you're you're the carrier what's known in the psychological community as you're the carrier of this projection of all this negative energy of all this toxicity of all their insecurity that they have had and created in their life from who knows when I mean it could have you know it might have had its origin in childhood it might have had its origins in you know um, young adulthood but for whatever reason you know you are the one who they have selected targeted and pinpointed as the one to receive all this ne negativity even though you know you don't deserve it even though it's incorrect even though you're a wonderful person giving loving caring you had you know uh, made strides to love them and em embrace them for all that they are. I mean, you, you try to um, love them through all that, but you know, your love is not going to be enough. It's not going to be able to penetrate their projection. They're often in 
a very severe cases, their projection is so, um, it, it's just so ingrained and they, they, they cannot see you, they cannot love you um, for who you are. They, they just, they're not able, but you know, furthermore, are they not able, they're going to perpetuate that negative projection onto you. So you're going to constantly have to feel like you're going to have to fend yourself and defend and deflect off all that negativity that they're assigning to you, which is not yours. So they're making false accusations. So there's nothing wrong with you. You, you, you don't deserve those words. You don't deserve those uh, accusations. You don't deserve all that negativity. It's just the narcissist and their projections. So the more you can acknowledge that, the more you can get away, the more you can realize that you did nothing wrong, that you're blameless, that you are pure and loving and giving, and that they were perhaps, you know, whatever reason they were threatened, but even more so that you were, you were pinpointed and you were targeted for that. You need to separate and you need to get away from that. So their defense mechanism doesn't continue to, to you know, uh, taint and toxify your life. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.